You already know that your child's school has a great team of dedicated teachers, administrators, support staff, and parents who work together every day to make it a place where all students can learn and grow. But did you know that your school's team also has nurse practitioners, dentists, dental hygienists, psychologists, and social workers who help make sure students are healthy? Your child's school has a school-based health center. A school-based health center might be new to you, but there are more than 200 of them across New York State and more than 2,000 across the country. The school-based health program provides medical, mental health, and dental services right where your student's located. There's a lot of students that if they weren't able to be serviced here, they wouldn't, they wouldn't get seen. It's vital to the health and well-being of a lot of families. We have a very high attendance record and the clinic plays a role in that. As a parent, it's been very helpful to have the school-based health clinic. Not having to take time off from work in order to get my child seen medically has been very helpful. School-based health care is for every student, and every student can enroll to use school-based dental and health services. The more we can get to know the parents and the more the parents can get to know us, the more comfortable they are going to be with using our services. These programs are great for students who don't have a family doctor or dentist, and they're also convenient for families who already have a family doctor or dentist. We know that parents do face barriers to care, and many of those barriers can be cost barriers, they can be transportation barriers, they can be even weather barriers, or parents having the inability to take time off work. School-based health centers are there to remove those barriers to care. School-based health care is flexible, so parents can decide which services their children get at school. They get to be seen at the clinic and get the care that they need. There are no out-of-pocket expenses for families who use our school-based health centers, medical and preventative dental services. If you have insurance, your insurance company will be billed. If you don't have insurance, there are still no fees, no co-pays, no bills. The only service we charge for is restorative dental care, like filling cavities that's done by a dentist. If your child needs restorative dental care and you have no dental insurance to cover the cost, our dentist can provide that care at school for a reduced fee based on your income. Our school-based health program recognizes the importance of dental health as part of your child's overall health. If you're not visiting the dentist regularly, then you don't know if there is a problem that is existing. So how do you fix something that you don't know is broke? Tooth decay is the most common infectious disease in children in the United States. More than 50 million hours of school are lost each year due to dental-related illnesses. Students with dental problems have difficulties concentrating and learning. When they come and we found out some cavities and they say, oh, it doesn't bother them. You know, it doesn't bother me. But when it bothers you, then sometimes it might be too late. If you're not brushing on a regular basis, which is twice a day, you accumulate plaque and that plaque creates an acid. That acid erodes away at the enamel on your teeth, therefore giving you a cavity. And if that cavity is not fixed right off, then that cavity tends to get worse. It doesn't get better. I encounter a lot of gingivitis, bacteria on their teeth that is plaque or tartar. And I'm really concerned with the gingivitis because of the plaque that's around the gum line and is infecting their gum tissue. It's very important to start children off at an early age with their dental visits. Number one, it makes them more comfortable when they do come for their visits, and you can catch any problems that they may have early on. We would like them to be brushing twice a day, making sure they're flossing, and that's gonna reduce our chances of getting cavities and gingivitis. It's not only the cleaning, but also what the, they give to the kids. Sugar, fruit juices, which is laden with sugar. It's not good for the child's teeth. We offer dental services to students at both permanent and temporary locations. 
when a student comes in for their hygiene appointment, we do a dental screening. We clean their teeth, we polish, we floss, we provide a fluoride application, and we also, if the child does need sealants, we go ahead and apply the sealant. The Dental Sealant Program is an essential program in our school-based health centers. Sealants are usually applied to 6 and 12 year molars. A dental sealant is described as a thin dental plastic placed on the chewing surfaces of the adult back molars. Applying a dental sealant is quick and pain free. It is because of this program that we have seen a significant decrease in the amount and the severity of dental disease. The goal by the end of that appointment is making sure that child leaves with everything he or she needs to continue their good oral hygiene at home. Most of our school-based health centers are staffed by a nurse practitioner and an office associate who answers the phone, calls parents, schedules appointments, and helps make children feel welcome. Knowing them by name, seeing them in the hall, giving them a high five. Just letting them know that we're, we're here for them if they need us. And you can tell with a lot of the kids, just getting a smile out of them is, is important. And we do see a lot of that. And they even come down when they don't have appointments to say hi. It's about forming relationships with the kids and with the parents as well. And I think it's, that is very crucial to the trust level of your parents trusting what you do here. And for the kids to be able to come in and just be able to trust and feel like they're at home. Our nurse practitioners have lots of experience working with children. They have advanced nursing degrees and board certification in working with children and families. The child gets seen right away. If they're sick and I diagnose an ear infection, for example, I put them on an antibiotic and then I see them back in a week or two to make sure that the ear infection has cleared up completely. Asthma patients, a lot of times they'll have an asthma exacerbation and I'm able to do the oximetry here, I'm able to give them nebulizer treatment. It gives them great relief that they know they're going to get feeling better quicker. Sometimes children struggle with more than medical problems. We have a clinical psychologist and licensed clinical social workers who can help. I see a wide range of things for kids, maybe adjusting difficulties to school, ADHD, depression, deployment of a parent, anxiety, aggression, adjustment to parents being divorced. Kids, when they come to school, it's a routine. It's a safe place. Wondering how your child can take advantage of the school-based health and dental programs? All you have to do is fill out an enrollment form and update that form each year. There are no eligibility requirements other than having a student enrolled within a school district that provides our school-based health and dental services. We're available to everybody, anybody in the school. They just have to sign the enrollment form. It can't hurt you to enroll in the system. It can only help you. Even if you have your own doctor, even if you have your own service, you know, maybe sometimes you can't get away from your job. And then you can just call and say, you know, can my son get seen at the clinic? There's a huge benefit for a lot of the families in our school district. And I wish that more parents knew that and knew that all they have to do is have their child enrolled. Enrollment forms are sent home during the first week of school and are always available on your school's website or at the school's main office, nurse's office, or health center office. The school-based health center involves a community advisory board made up of parents, teachers, students, school principals, community partners, school-based health and dental staff, and health center administrators. The school-based health centers are operated by North Country Family Health Center. This organization has been keeping kids healthy in northern New York since 1972. Now a federally qualified health center, North Country Family Health has its main office in Watertown and provides medical and dental care for adults and children. The benefit of being in the schools is that we have the opportunity to provide care to children directly where they are. Students perform better when they show up for class healthy and ready to learn. I see it as just being a win-win situation of having the clinic here. They provide a needed service to our children. Let's help your child stay healthy. We're in this together. We care about your kid, we care about your child, and we just want to help do what's best for them. We've had students come back to us and thank us for the services that we provided in the schools and how that's changed their life. 
School-based health centers keep kids healthy and in school. Enroll your child today.